I'll bring it way back. When you look at art, especially not necessarily art from the last two or three centuries, but older, older art, um, African art, um, Macedonian art, the work that they were doing was that had a direct correlation with how they, these people lived. It became a, it became an extension of, of what their existence actually was, and it was a, a means of them providing not only themselves but each other, other people, um, with an opportunity to have some type of insight into their existence and into their culture. I think that the art world can sometimes be so pretentious that we get away from that now, and so to see work that philosophically is so tied into what your experience, your, the experience of these people um, is, I mean, I call that inspiring. It's mm -hmm. the connection between what you are doing in context to who you are as a person is very, very tight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it's, I do, yeah, it's I virtually do. inseparable. Because I feel the same thing too. You know, yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where I've tried, you know, I have a camera, I went home, I yeah. tried to do some of this stuff. Oh, yeah. I, and I can't do it the way that you all do it. I can't do it as well because I'm inhibited by my sight. Okay. My sight gets in my way. At first, it's, I just was attracted to the idea of people losing vision, being able to participate in a very visual art form. I mean, a, your eyes are very much a part of making a photograph. There's a narrative to the photographs. There's usually an internal narrative going on. It's not just a surface. It's not just about the composition or the landscape or uh, it can be about memory, but it's not necessarily a specific moment. I think that uh, what compels me in looking at all of this imagery is the internal dialogue and narrative that goes on. I think that when I first heard about um, the Sing Photography Collective, I was completely skeptical. Were you? Okay. My first initial response, mm. yeah, it didn't make sense. Mm. Um, it isn't like... You know, it isn't like you're uh, working on a three-dimensional art piece. It's flat. I know at Artview there was quite a gathering, and I sort of stood off from it so that they could just not feel self-conscious about whatever it was they were saying and appreciating. But I loved seeing the a dialogue going on between five people looking at a wall, you know, looking at this wall of uh, imagery. I just thought that was great. Had a moment just appreciating that. And uh, the beautiful thing about it was that earlier, one of the people who was talking at this, you know, in this group, I had uh, spoken about the group and visiting the studio on site on a Thursday afternoon and uh, just the way everyone works and it's the, all the lights are turned off, it's completely darkness, and just the wonderful feeling of just being in this kind of velvety dark room and seeing this collaboration going on. The, you know, there's something happening over here, and there's yeah. color, black and whites happening over yeah. here, and dark, you know? Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. door's all going on over here, yeah. a giant box. Right, oh yeah, you saw Where that too. What was that going on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the box. What, the, what was that called? The box, box portraits. The box portraits. Yeah. A friend of mine in uh, Sweden who told me about this exhibition and uh, I was not sure what I, got, what I was going to see. Uh, he told me it was a photo exhibition and uh, okay, so okay, I go and, and look at it. And uh, I must tell you that my f I, I think I got shocked, you know, but in a good way. Um, I think I spent a couple of hours up there, actually. I couldn't stop watch them. Uh, I found, because I, I, when I'm work, working as an artist, uh, I, I work with uh, abstract pictures. Uh, and even if your pictures are, are uh, figurative, I mean, you, you see there is people in them, they are at the same time very abstract. Uh, because you, you can't just 
look at it and say, okay, this is it. There is more than a person or, or an object in your pictures. Uh, and what surprised me that all the pictures are sending a lot of um, uh, emotions. Um, uh, all the pictures talks in some way. Uh, but the picture you are doing here is is more than than it's so personal, you know. It's uh, it has some kind of third dimension, which is is amazing. I mean, it's I, I got stunned when I saw this. Uh, and another thing I really like in this picture is is you you are taking the edge of this super perfect pictures, you know, when the focus must be 110 percent clear. The, the everything, every technique and everything in the picture must be super perfect. Uh, it doesn't matter here. I mean, you are, you accept that it's a little bit blurry, the, the focus is not good, the light is not perfect, because all these, let's say, mistakes or what it is, it's a, a part of your pictures. Collective. 10 February for May. There's the sign, which we don't know what it says. I need to oh, read it for that. you better than me, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, oh, you the unique images are from the Artist Collective, seen with photography. Pull no. us into Another world. Another world. Yeah, like a dark world. Or real surrealistic. The artists all have this kind of um, are all visually impaired, seeing or or blind. Like me. I figure <laughs> so you know blind with like me. You know, it's funny, I mean, we spoke a little bit about like light painting and that other people have done it, but mm -hmm. I've never felt, I've never looked at work and said to myself, that's so appropriate and, and as a, by extension, so beautiful. You know what I mean? It's like, it doesn't always, it doesn't always have the, I'm, I'm formally trained in fine art. Right. So there's certain conventions that I'm trained to look for. Right. And rarely am I given such a wonderful opportunity to throw all that crap away and to actually appreciate what somebody's trying to tell me you know what I mean but but the, the funny th the thing that I find I hear what you're saying but I find that the, the, what you say is the crap that you're throwing away it, it, that's that stuff is there too the formal oh, it is no the, it's definitely the there. formal stuff there, there, I think there are mean. tons of formal elements in right it, but, the, but right. the difference is I don't have to look at it from the perspective of see people make judgments man I, I mean in the art world, people definitely will make certain judgments. They'll look at your background, they'll assume what your skill level is, and then they'll look at your work in context to it. The wonderful thing here is, I can take that lens off and I can truly just allow myself to become consumed with what's in the material itself. Oh, look at this thing. See, what, what is it? This is like a house, house roof. Or something. I can yeah. see birds from my camera. Like I should bird. just constantly go through my camera. What is something it? Something like a bird. A birdhouse? Yeah. Just, it just started. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> You're oh pulling me all over the place. Sorry, sorry. He just started oh, putting yeah, on the yeah, roof. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't put he, on he, the, the roof. The roof so is that's like, why oh, I say damn. it's like a bird. Yeah, it's like, because it, didn't finish. it has part of the shingles on it. The shingles. Yes. Yeah, cool. Yes. <laughs> There's molding here, like a, for the mold. Um, let's see. Um, I think there's other stuff like laying around probably. He probably moved a lot of stuff. Oh. Say this? Did he come over here? The sun is here. Yeah, you can feel that, huh? Yeah. The sun? Yep. Yeah. You don't feel it? You don't feel the sun? Not 
complicated at all. No, no, no. Uh, uh, Come straight up. Because it's uh, a little twisted. Eh? Can't oh. find the writing. Oh, I got it. Steve. What? You're gonna put your hand, one of your hands, where is your hand? Give me There's a nice you, broken you, one down there. You, you're gonna <laughs> look like you're... Like I'm trying to put the back or like... No, yeah, exactly, with your hands. Like I'm feeling it falling down. Falling down. You're gonna try to take one and then try to stop the other one okay. falling down. Okay, with my other hand? Should I use yeah. both hands? Both hands, Okay. Yeah. One over here. All right. <laughs> like so I have the camera in the other hand now, but I'll, yeah. I'll, uh, you can, I'll do that when I... You uh, can cross your hands like that because... Okay. It, all They're right. going to be falling on you, on you, okay? That's it, right? No. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, miss. I'm sorry. Raymond, come here. Oh. Why are you screaming? It's raining thunder. Are you afraid of the thunder? I don't like the thunder. Wow. Oh. Holy, holy moly. Do you think that a blind person could take a good picture? Is that you possible? Know, I don't know. It's so weird sometimes, you know? I well, mean, if you don't have no vision, how can you aim at that object? Do you think a picture taken by a blind person could be good? Hey, you never know. Well, what do you think? What do you really think? You know, I... I can't really tell you that. What can it I, be? Guess, I, guess it, I guess you could use your imagination. Hey, come on in. <laughs> Waiting. The work is great work, and then when you when you have an opportunity to actually learn about how it's made and who its creators are, you ha you get more depth to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I don't think that I don't think that I don't think that it really matters actually that the people who are doing it blind. It just so happens mm -hmm. that you guys are better at it. <laughs> <laughs>